From England in the United Kingdom. Welcome back to another video for Gel Press Print Project Series. Today I am embracing my inner grunge. I was lucky enough recently to go to Creativation in Phoenix, Arizona with the rest of the Gel Press team and I can't tell you how much I learnt from watching the others teach and demo in our booths. I learnt such a lot and so some of that I've applied to the way that I'm working. Now I wanted to get grungy but I wanted to keep it pretty. You know I like pretty colours. So I'm going to be showing you how to do things like this. Now often you can do a first print and a second print so you can make coordinating papers that work brilliantly together. You will end up with some much more pastel. I've experimented with different colours and then I've used my Sizzix Big Shot to make these cute little embellishments for pages. And finally, I've used all of my grungy, shabby chic um, backgrounds to make this. Now this would work in a journal, so I could stick that straight into my journal. Or I could frame it like this. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to join me again in a few days for part two. So today I'm using my 8x10 plate, but for this you can use any size. I've also got a smaller plate here, because one of the things I picked up in uh, Creativation was to use a smaller plate as your palette, which is such a good idea. I've also picked out um, a variety of paints, I've gone for my pretty colours. Um, I'll explain what those are as I go along. So I'm going to start with some of this light rose, this is in Amsterdam. One of the key things in this is to let each layer dry. Now if you live in a hot dry climate that won't be a problem. If you're like me in Northern Europe things take a little bit longer but if you don't let them dry you won't get those nice crisp clear grungy layers coming through separately. And then I'm going to remove some. So I've picked out magenta for my second layer. This is the Dina Wakely. Now I'm going to add a little bit of fuchsia. This is another Dina Wakely. I'm bringing this in mainly around the edges. I'll smooth it out in a moment. I'm going to use my stencil now and a bit more fuchsia. I'm going to add some alcohol ink now. I've picked out butterscotch and this is something I saw being demoed by Sally Lynn MacDonald when I was at Creativation. I think in the past I've been a bit frightened of putting alcohol ink on my uh, gel press plate but I've discovered that it all lifts straight off so it's no problem. I'm going to add a bit of contrast colour now. This is a Pebio. It's um, an iridescent it's a blue-green and it's got an iridescent sheen to it. Now remember that with this kind of technique what you put down first comes out on top of the print so this will all be underneath layer so some of it, just some of that may show through. So I'm adding a Titan Buff Light and I'm just going to put a layer all over the top. And this needs to be really thin because I want it to lift off everything that's underneath and if I put a thick layer on all it does is lift the top layer of paint off. And this is the moment of truth so this will look either fabulous or it might look a bit of a grungy mess but that's all part of the fun. print one. 
Now there's still a bit on there. So I'm just going to see if I can lift any more off. that too. That looks a little bit like old wallpaper. pretty grunge prints and in the next video I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish these off and turn them into a project. 